you know, you're just, Taurus, you're just trying to work through, you're both trying to work through the newness of where you both stand at the moment. You know, you've not encountered this before and you're both just trying to get through it, really. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for uh, December. Going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. Let me just stop that. There we go. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay. As I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, use this as a guide, you know, to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality okay so just give me a moment to uh finish laying these cards oops there we go okay so I'm just going to take these in and I'll be back. So Taurus, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. I'm picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So there's love here between the both of you. I feel like this is love that has gone the distance. So for a lot of you, this is someone that you've had long-term relationship with or has been in your life for an extended amount of time or period of time um it doesn't have to be this could be someone that you clearly want in your life for a long ex extended period of time but regardless of the fact there's still love here there's still very much you know emotions there between the both of you care uh, pure as well it's not tainted by you know, conditional or circumstances, there's conditions around it. I don't feel like that that's between the both of you. There's something that is causing you to focus on things that are going wrong, then focus on things that are just not working out. There's something that's, and I feel like it's more to do with how they're showing up or a shift in how they are behaving or they're treating you and it's causing you to look at a choice that needs to be made it's like you're focusing on a choice that needs to be made but is it much of one because there's a decision that you've already made and I feel like it's like you've already decided on this person going back to the six it's like because I want this person to be in my life for, for, for a long time so this is someone that you've definitely decided upon but there is a choice that you need to make around this um, I'm going to pull on that just to see what comes up but a choice that needs to be made around this to do with with this the five jumps out that you want to get on top of as well that's going to cause you to come out on top cause you to and not come out on top in a sense of you get in your way you get you get you 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 get in your way but not in a way or in a sense where it takes away from this person but there's just something that's not fulfilling something that's not working out, something that's not going right, um, and you're wanting to fix that. Again, it's because you want long-term with this person. You're wanting to fix that. And I feel like it has to do with some form of um, focus that this person now has. They're, there's something that has gotten their attention. And I feel like it... I don't feel like it's a person. It, it could be. I'll pull on that in a minute. But I don't feel like that it's a person. I feel like it's more to do with maybe a career move or a project, 
or just them shedding the, the, the old skin and them transforming forming into just a higher version of their self or leveling up, so to speak. Whatever this is, it's got their attention. Um, and with that, uh, there's like a pull, a strong pull towards it as well. And with that causes this feeling of loss. I feel like I feel like this change that's happening, because there is a change. We've got the death card there. Huge change, big change. Um, I feel like this change is new to both of you. I feel like this change is, yeah, and because of that newness, it's like, how do we work through this or how do we move through this? I feel like this is, because it's new, you're both not really understanding or knowing how to handle this. So you're lacking maybe attention, if that's what it is, and time, uh, quality time. And this person is lacking the, the, the sense that, you know, they don't feel as close to you as they once did or that they usually do. Or there's that, you know, there's that some the, the, whatever those cups that are fallen represents, not focusing on or not feeling the remaining cups. There is a loss there. But again, we've got the transformation, this huge change that this person is going through. I feel like it's very much a work or a shedding of the old skin or them leveling up or something that's got their attention, a new project or a new hobby that's, it's a strong pull, yeah, it's a strong pull, which is causing them to change in some way, to move ahead, to move forward, and we've got the six again there. Now, for you, it's like you're, want, you're, wanting, you're wanting to communicate. You're wanting to communicate because this is something that you're not looking to let go of. You're going to move through the challenges, whatever obstacles, challenges that I encounter with this person, I'm still going to hold on to. I'm going to hold on for now anyway. Um, so I'm wanting to communicate. You're wanting to communicate with this person. And so you should, you know, because and not and not this, not not coming from a place where it's their fault, because I don't feel like it's their fault. I feel like it's just new for both of you. And you're trying to find out or figure out or find your feet in terms of how to maintain this relationship while this shift and this change is going on. They're feeling a bit, they're feeling a bit opt uh, pessimistic about this, not to take away from the fact that they do want to fix this or sort this out. Um, but yeah, there's big change going on for this person. Whatever it is that's gotten their attention, gotten their focus. And, yeah, it's causing them to go through a huge change, feeling like they want to move forward. It's like, I, I want to move forward. So if this person is feeling, and there's a stagnant in their life, they're not going to want to let go of that. And they have a level of belief that they can actually make, there's a level of confidence, level of belief that they can make it work or make it happen, whatever the case may be. Usually at this point of the reading, guys, we move into part two, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to. We'll be implementing that next month. So bear with me with that. But as it stands, yeah, I feel like once you both, as it stands, as you, once you both kind of, it's new, it's new and it's trying to figure out and work through, you know, the um, newness of where you both stand now. Uh, like, like I said, this communication that you're wanting to have, think about it think about what you want to say, approach it with the right energy, the right state of mind, the right heart. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you, let me just do that, who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. Um, this, if that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you soon.